Hey y'all, welcome back to another Shades with Fifi. Guess what we got to mean today? Today we got some spaghetti, some cheesy spaghetti, some pompano fried fish, and we got some homemade pickles, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. How are you guys doing today? How are you feeling? I hope you had an amazing day. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, we had talked previously about <clears throat> what would you do to address co-workers who are unvaccinated or anti-vax? We had a memo. I worked uh, last night and we had a memo that came out um, stating everybody needed to <clears throat> let them know what the, uh, let uh, employee health know what their immunization status was. So, and what um, their plans on going to do about for those who are not going to be vaccinated. So, that's all I said. So, right now, we don't have a Rona outbreak, but our ICU went from empty. One of our ICUs went from empty to max. So, it's been crazy. It's getting real crazy. But yeah, they were saying those who uh, have not gotten, uh, haven't gotten immunized. They encourage them to get their first dose. Yep. And if they didn't have any intentions, even though they made it so mandatory, those have not that have not gotten their vaccine yet. Are supposed to wear a mask. And even if you, sorry, ice maker, even if you have gotten vaccinated, they still encourage you to wear a mask, especially in common areas. And if I remember correctly, people who are unvaccinated are told to stay away from the common areas in large groups of people. So, we're going to see how this don't work. I think for certain departments, this is going to be a big problem. Because that means your manager has to keep an eye out on where you be at. Because you're unvaccinated. Translation, your, your manager has to babysit you because you chose not to be vaccinated. I can see where that posed a problem. But hey, for those who can't get it for medical reasons, I'm sure they're already, it won't really affect them because they already have to be careful. And stay away from people, so. I think the only people that are really affected who have this anti vax syndrome. When we had that previous conversation, you got to make provisions to keep everybody safe, especially your patients. Your patients are your priority. <clears throat> yes, employees have rights. However, your rights are secondary to the safety of, for them ensuring the safety of the patient.
So basically it boils down to this. They'll lose you before they lose the patient. So. <clears throat> Somebody can debate that all day long. But. I have a feeling those people are going to lose that case. Mm. Yeah, air fry your fish. I don't think I'll be able to put the <coughs> complete seasoning on there. Air fry, that's it. That's good. Skin nice and I hear that crisp. Mm. But, no. People doing some crazy stuff. I don't know, but y'all, but I get it. I get why other people are anti vax Because they have their flawed opinion on the government. That's okay. And, you know, they're entitled to their opinion. That's freedom. Liberty. Mm -mm. What's so funny is, a lot of them have listened to some of these lawmakers. And now, and somebody from the media asked him straight, flat out, especially like Marie, Marjorie McGreen Taylor, how do you next vaccinated? She told that reporter, um, they were violating her HIPAA rights. Honey, HIPAA rights relate to hospitals. Not you giving information out. You ain't got no friends. Somebody lying to you. And then you got the alleged uh, pervert Matt Gates. Doing the same nonsense. It's so crazy because Trump's out of office. He ain't even supporting him. But you know what? All them uh, folks that died in Florida. You don't have nobody vote for you. See, I'm going to be dead. You know what really get people's attention? When these people saw you losing family members. Hmm. Sometimes that's what it takes. But I say it's to each his own. If you want more detailed information, you go to Dr. Z Dog. He's uh, he goes live and answers questions and gives some really really good explanation. Hmm. On uh, the virus, and really clears things up. I think if those antibacks listen to him, a real medical doctor, I don't know if they're You know what? He's not even pushing for somebody. Yeah, he said, hey, do your thing. Wow. 
I'm going to say to each of them. I'm going to say safe. Stay out of folks' face. When I go somewhere, make sure I wear my mask. Wash my hands and wash my ass. Making a mess. <clears throat> but yeah. We got a ways to go. We got a ways to go before this virus winds up being similar to the common code. But we'll get there, y'all. Y'all just stay safe. Y'all remember to stay blessed, be blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. We gotta continue to try to protect ourselves and as well as others, especially if you have people in your family who have uh, pre-existing conditions. Mm. All right, y'all. Stay blessed. Let me know what y'all think on that conversation. Y'all think the job's taking too far? We're making them stay out of common areas and wear masks? I don't think so. It's actually not necessarily a new rule. It's what it is, because we had to do it for the flu. If you didn't take a flu vaccine, you had to wear the mask. So, really not new. All right, y'all. Stay blessed. Bye.